it is another day to be live here in Arizona. So today my family and I, we will be going to Queen Creek here in Arizona. We're actually going to go there because before we actually got to Arizona, we we were looking into like areas that we were interested in moving to. So today we were like, well, look, what the heck, like, let's go ahead and go to Queen Creek and see, you know, what they have there and what it's all about. We've been to Buckeye, that's not on the list. We've marked that off the list. Well, um, we won't be moving there. So we're gonna see what Queen Creek is all about. You're not moving to Buckeye. Why I'm not moving to Buckeye? Because Buckeye is not what I thought it was gonna be. Buckeye is more so like you live in the country or something, you know what I'm saying? That's what it, that's what it looks like to me. So that's why I went move to Buckeye because I came to Arizona to get the feel for the desert life and I felt like out there in Buckeye would give you more of a, a mixture of a life but it was just too far out there. I didn't really like it out there but you know what I'm saying, I, that's just the way I felt so. Besides that, Buckeye is scratched off the list. Scottsdale is really really nice y'all, we've been to Scottsdale once, um, we noticed that there up there is more for the people that make more money we went up there to a mall right and they have a was it a gucci store babe or was it a louis vuitton store do you remember yeah they had all those stores in there y'all and i think we were on the wrong side of the mall but it didn't matter because we lit we dope and we just make the best out of it you know but you know they didn't treat us any differently because people don't know what you have based off what you look like so you know people treat you nicely out here no matter what you look like whatever the case may be but so we just got to King Creek and from the looks of it it looks kind of like but guy we haven't really fully gotten there yet to get an idea of like yeah, a good description of what this area is like. So we um we actually want to scratch what we said. Um, <laughs> we truly apologize to y'all, but Queen Creek is really really nice. It really is. I came here to kind of see if Queen Creek would be a place for us to buy another. really really nice I believe that this is a, a really good nice neighborhood to raise your family in they have a lot of basketball courts a lot of playgrounds and they also have soccer field hmm? they have a lot of street lighting it's it's really really nice here also have a lot of sidewalks in this neighborhood it's really really nice and they also have, they're also building more houses inside of this particular neighborhood. And also, um, also um, with the other neighborhood that we saw, they were building more houses over there. And in this neighborhood, the houses start at about 300,000. And I'm not really too sure like how many bedrooms you can get for that price. So um, yeah, just hold on one second. But this neighborhood is really, really nice. Now, I'm really not too sure about what type of jobs, if you can actually make a living out here, or how much the cost of living is out here, but I just know for sure it's just really nice out here. If you guys are looking to move to Arizona and you don't really know wh where you guys want to move to, have interest in moving to Queen Creek, then Queen Creek is a really, really nice place, guys. It's really, really nice. And I wish that we actually moved here because it's really, really nice. Hey, what's the name of this park? Oasis, Oasis Mantle Park. We just got here, so we're gonna have the kids play on the playground for a little bit. 
I don't even know why we even came this way because at 3 o'clock it gets really hot out here. But they wanted to go to the park, so. It'd be too hot for him to go on this slide. Maybe that's, that's, they use that stuff going down the stairs. I'm probably gonna let the kids play here for a little bit. They love this little park. It has a splash pad. They also have um, a skateboard place. And there's also like there's also a lake around here. Hold on, you guys. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit. But this is a really nice park out here. Over there, um, they have like all that stuff over over that way. But come on. For us, <laughs> so yo, you on your own. <laughs> Squish, come down this way. Come on, Squish. Huh. It's like a football field type thing. Y'all, it's hot out here. We are about to go. It's really hot. Believe it or not, y'all, I've actually lost some weight. Just being out here in the heat. He's down to some bone, just. He's like, I want to go there. I want to go there. That scene is going to be really hot. <laughs> I literally just had all of my fresh converse. <laughs> he said, or he was saying, oh, she's. These are some pretty flowers. Well, I'm about to actually stay in the shade because I am like really hot. But over there, they actually have more bathrooms over that way. They have like exercise over that way. We walk that way. I'm going to be on me. Yeah, we're not going that way. We're just going to come the way. Don't touch that joint. They be trying to be sleeping. Where they got water? Yeah. You got trash in there? Get on this side. car from the park we are really hot it is 116 degrees out here child out here y'all it's really hot for future references please do not it's best not to come out at three o'clock in the afternoon because that is when it is the hottest out here in arizona we had to find out on our own for ourselves now nobody told us that at three o'clock it would get like scorching hot but just take it from us okay it's hot it's really hot. Or so we really do like Queen Creek. Queen Creek is a really nice place. Now I know I was talking my mess earlier in the video, but after actually driving around Queen Creek and just getting a feel for everything, everything is pretty nice. I do believe that it is an upcoming development because they have a lot of housing areas that are coming up and a lot of houses are being built. A lot of businesses are going up out here in Queen Creek and it's beautiful. That's all I have to say. Living out here in Arizona, I don't really think that I've literally been to any bad places. Coming from where we come from, we've seen worse. And every area out here in Arizona, pretty much every everything is nice. Alright guys, so we are back home. I've, I'm tired. Like, 
But overall, I, I, I had a really good day today. I had a really good day. Um, I had a really good day because Queen Creek was really, really nice. Going somewhere that I have not been seeing different things today that I have not seen since I've been here in Arizona. Well, pretty much, well, yeah, every, everything's different. Well, I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, so I just I just got home and I checked my mailbox and right now usually when I check my mailbox I like to look at these advertisements that you get in the mailbox. It's nothing fancy, but you know these regular ones. These regular type of ads. I usually just go through these and you know, just kinda see like what grocery stores have really good deals because I've noticed that even though food costs a lot more out here by you specifically shopping at some of these grocery stores you know you get like better deals whenever you try it. basically whenever you buy more you get better deals so I like to browse different ads for different stores to see um, which stores have the better deal now I my husband and I were on keto well I try to keep the whole family on it and I pretty much cook a lot most of the time well only for the kids but when it comes to my husband and I we just pretty much fast and we only eat one time a day and we don't be hungry like we don't be hungry all day we fast for at least how long do you think we fast for babe probably at least like 20 hours a day well on average we could probably fast for about 16 well, we probably can't fast for probably about 20 hours but we we'll probably fast for probably about 16 to 20 hours a day so we're not too shabby there you know but I don't know so um, here, here is pretty much all the coupons that you can clip to put into your account. So you'll be able to get whatever item that you choose for that price. So if you don't clip these coupons, then you don't get it for that price. So if you want the Fogger's ice, uh, Fogger's coffee, I'm sorry, then you can get it for $5.99 or this one you can get it for $5.99. So. They have a lot of good items. I did recently buy these from Fry's for like a dollar and forty nine cent, but they want two ninety nine each for um for some fries. So I probably won't get that from here. My kids, I don't feed them T V dinners unless I really have to, but like I say most of the time I cook for my kids. And Kool-Aid jammers are a really good deal. I usually buy the no sugar, well less sugar Kool-Aid jammers. So getting them for $149 is a really good deal. I wish I would have seen this deal earlier because I was just in Safeway um, a few days ago actually. And they did not have sugar free. But maybe they don't sell it. But that's besides the point. The point is they have this same brand for $249 and I recently just got it from Safeway for a higher cost so I was very disappointed to, I was very disappointed in that but it's okay but Tony's pizza is a, a good deal I, I guess but I'm really not too sure because I think I can get a whole pizza from Walmart for my kids for like two something so I would not buy these from here because I don't I don't really think this is a good deal I usually can get a big bag of corn for like five dollars and also a big bag of broccoli for like five dollars so I wouldn't pay this much for um, this don't really need that even though I did used to eat the taquitos the chicken taquitos those are really good my kids don't really eat Rice Krispie treats, but they do like peanut butter. But I still wouldn't pay $1.99 for the peanut butter, so 
I don't really care too much for detergent unless it's on sale. So I have enough detergent for the moment unless it's on sale, then I don't have enough. But <laughs> that's a secret between you and I, so don't let my husband know that. We also have Gatorade Sparkling Ice or Propel. This says it's 88 cents when you buy 12. So you have to buy 12 of them and you will get them for 88 cents. Cheez-Its and Arizona tea for $2.49. Oreos or Lay's chips when you buy two, you get them for $2.99 each. Doritos, $2.99 each and bubbly water. This is a bubbly water that we, uh, well my husband, he likes to drink sometimes on keto. I think this is actually a good price for this soda. So that's a good, that's a good one, but lately he has not been drinking that one because we've just been drinking plain water. They also have a deal on, well I really don't know if it's a deal because I really don't shop here for my meat unless I literally have to. But they have $2.99 a pound pork chops, $5.99 lobster tails, $10 for $10. I might actually go back, my husband recently just bought us the these for me to cook the other night for dinner so we cook I cooked those 10 for $10 they were really really good they tasted really really good they wasn't dry and they came out very juicy they also have strawberries five dollars each lettuce for 99 cent celery 99 cent fresh yellow or white onions 99 cent a pound and you have your grapes and your tomatoes Mm-hmm.